Hi, we're in St. Mary the Virgin Church in Gouthurst. This is St. Mary the Virgin Church in the village of Gouthurst in Kent. And this church was built in 1119. Now, before this church was here, there was probably a small Saxon church on this hill before that. The village of Goodhurst is perhaps one of the most beautiful places in all of Southern England. The word Hurst, as we learned before, means a wood or clearing the forest. And the word good or gout probably just means good. So a good clearing in the forest. The Flemings also love beer, beer. They didn't like the local English ale, so they established their own hops. And they introduced their own varieties of hops, and they started brewing them here in Gouthurst. Became very successful, and the hop gardens flourished pretty much as far as the eye can see across the entire weld. So in the Tudor area of 1485 to 1603, the weld here was named the Black Country. In England and all around Gouthurst, there were iron foundries <coughs> pumping out their black so, the railroad opened in 1892, but it closed in 1961 due to lack of ridership. And the track was lifted in 1964, and all the station sites were sold off. And this is one of the most beautiful churches in Kent. And also, Gouthurst is, is the most beautiful village in all of Kent. And I'll show you a couple of uh, really cool things. This is the most interesting monument in St. Mary the Virgin Church. It dates back to 1537, and this is Sir Alexander up here and his wife Constance. It's a tabletop tomb with painted wooden effigies, beautifully detailed in period costumes. There are only 80 such tombs in England, and this is certainly the most colorful and most well-preserved. And here on the floor, this is John Bedgebury. Now this is Walter Culpepper and his wife, Agnes, who died in 1480. The tower of St. Mary's, the Virgin Church, it rises 500 feet and is the tallest monument for miles around. On a clear day, it is said that you could see as many as 51 other churches sprawled throughout the weld. From the Martians of Limpney to the hills of North Downs. And during the Battle of Britain in 1940, two parachute mines destroyed most of the glass in the entire church, except for a small panel of the 15th century glass, which survives in the west window of the south aisle. 